At 14, Vanessa Flores hardly looks like a veteran agricultural worker, but she says she started laboring on a pig farm in North Carolina when she was just six years old. Working alongside her parents, she's seen fellow child workers get hurt as they dodged snakes and pigs for $450 for three months of summer work. It's not a good condition, and you gotta walk through that, and you gotta smell that, and you gotta see, you gotta get used to rats going through your feet, because it's, you just gotta walk, and you just gotta try not to be afraid. Flores told us she didn't feel comfortable revealing where she worked because she wanted to protect her family. Now she hands out school supplies to other Latino children as an organizer for a community group called El Pueblo at this event in rural North Carolina. The pigs, you don't know, they're really uh, unexpected, so they could come charging at you or they could do anything, like they could like just bite you. Many children, like Vanessa, work before they're legally able. But while children have to be 14 to work in most jobs, Federal laws allow children as young as 12 to work on commercial farms, and even younger if the farm is owned by their parents. We need to close those loopholes. We, we need to increase child labor fines because companies aren't feeling enough pain when they, when they violate the law. The U.S. Department of Labor reported child labor violations rose by 70% since 2018. In 2021, 24 children died from work injuries, about half of them on farms. In the past year, lawmakers in at least 10 states loosened or proposed to ease the laws that govern children at work. Economists say a labor shortage is in part behind the drive to loosen laws in some states. But child labor has long been an issue in the U.S., especially in agriculture. Brenda Dimas Lopez, now 22, remembers working illegally starting at age five in the blueberry fields and later hog farms alongside her parents, who could not afford childcare. She says after several years, she could no longer remember the names of her employers. She says a main reason for the child labor problem in the U.S. is race. A lot of these communities out there in the fields are the indigenous communities, the Latinos communities, and the black communities. Uh, we see these lawmakers and we know that the kids in the fields don't resemble theirs. And I feel like that might be part of the problem right there. It's the fact that they don't care about us. In the past two years, more than 250,000 unaccompanied minors have reportedly crossed the U.S. border. The Biden administration has created a task force to crack down on the surge of illegal child labor cases. But with a shortage of field hands and more young migrants crossing the border daily in need of work, that job might be more challenging than ever. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Raleigh, North Carolina. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.